All right, day five. Last but not least, the party's already starting in the parking lot. We're so lit right now. Beautiful morning. We got a beach run 300 workout in this morning, and we about to pop on the yacht. Jabril, you a legend for this one, boy. Let's go. So if you take a yacht out for like three, four days, have like a good group with you, yeah. and so is I know. But like this comfortably, I mean, you'd have like four people, but like normally it's good to have like two cabins, two couples, for overnight. take it out. And, um, you can work out a deal, probably cost you for like four days, maybe like 15 grand for like four days or so. Oh, let's go. We got the skipper here. Hey, skipper, how are we? Good, 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 good. good. Yeah, good yeah. Okay. How are the seas today? Good? Ocean is good? Yes. Good? No swells? No way. Hey, Adnan! Oh my god, ain't this a beautiful image? Eating some snake fruit on a boat. I was not expecting that, but we just cruised like 30 minutes to Crystal Bay, Crystal Bay. And uh, we may do some snorkelings. Anyways, good times, good vibes. All right, Mikey. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you do it. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's why I said tie in. Oh my god. This could top it as right now. Sickest location ever to do a video. If you don't know the name Daco. Hey, what's up? Get to know the name. Now you what's know. Up? Yo, so, so Riley Bennett. Yes, sir. If you didn't, living um, that life, man. Yeah, living that life. Living that life. Such a good <laughs> name. You were saying last night. Like, I yeah. don't even know how I came up with that name. So, if you don't know Darko, he's like a. I would describe you as like a fitness guru, coach, helping guys um, get fit, get right, get unstuck. Cause you know, it's easier said than done. Everyone wants to get fit and have a six pack. You know, yeah. myself included. I guess for people that don't know you, like what's your journey? How did you find yourself in this space? And like, what do you do? What are your methods, secrets? What do you teach? Yeah. So here, here's the question. So the question is, if you have $1 million deposited in your account, and then within 30 days you have, um, you have to spend it all, if there's one country, who do you bring? How many people are you bringing? And what are the activities and things that you're doing? I would just go with Indonesia. I would bring this whole crew right here. I'd bring in about five other people. Lots of cameras, lots of villas, lots of food, lots of, I'd fly in speakers, influencers. We'd be filming the whole time, editing the whole time. For the, like the whole entire time would just be a fun production. Every little island, every little cliff, villa, Every you know type of excursion. Yeah. All right, Riley. Yeah. All right. How about? I'll record you. Yeah. All right. How about? The country. I was gonna say Philippines. How about we just do Japan? Mm. We do yachting around Japan. Okay. We get a mega super yacht. Uh, everyone here invited. Plus fly out the homies from home who ain't so free and blessed as us. Uh, and maybe 
fly out some other fucking uh, influencers. Um, maybe get our favorite rappers to come. I don't know. Fly out anyone who fucking wants to come. And uh, yachting uh, or and or sailing uh, around Japan. We hit Tokyo, Kyoto, uh, uh, Osaka. We go snowboarding in the mountains. Yes. Uh, and then we're eating sushi and we're filming food porn. Obviously, everyone has a film guy or like a film crew for the whole thing. Making a documentary, making movie, passport heavy style, and just blowing the money on um, bottles and um, yeah, half of it. We we only spend 500k, and then half of it um, we give to a charitable cause in in Japan. I'm I'm a copy Mike on that one because that's yeah. a super good idea. Or invest it to flip more. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> so, Mr. Passport Heavy, while everyone's getting food, how are we doing this? How is Mr. Passport Heavy spending a milli in a month? So, for myself, I would go. I go to Brazil. I take about eight people. Um, eight people is a good amount of space where you're not causing too much attention. You can still roll in, do what you want to do, um, not causing too much attention. One thing I don't like is too much attention. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, eight people. I fly everybody in on at least, like I fly everybody in first class, like private's too expensive to bring everybody in on a million dollar budget, but first class flights for everybody. Um, roll in, the finest hotels for everyone when they roll in. And then everyone has their own personal assistant um, and then personal like masseuse that's just always on hand and personal yeah. driver for each individual person <laughs> um, in Brazil and then from there uh, we just sit down and I talk about with everyone I'm like you know what are your biggest desires what do you want to do and mm. so from there um, it's a collective um, decision of what does everyone want to do mm. and so from there they're like yo I want to do yachting I want to do this I want to do that and then so everyone experiences what they want to do. I probably fly in Jay Huss. Now, um, if you're from London, you'd know who that is. But if you're not, you wouldn't know um, <laughs> to have like a nice music experience. Uh, and then um, from there, yeah. So definitely hire a yacht to sail around for a good four days out of the trip. Let's go. Um, like super yacht style, 200 footer. So like 200 grand of the budget goes to the super yacht. From there. Um, definitely, definitely helicopters like lined out. So if there's eight of us, and depending, like so the eight, if it was like eight guys, it's definitely like eight eight choppers, and then two girls eight in choppers. each each <laughs> chopper <laughs> lined <laughs> up. <laughs> like you know, they just lined up. So the driver pulls up. They got the chopper, and they were like, yo, where are we going? We landed like the most exotic place you could possibly go in Brazil and just get, the, you know, land, the food's there, music's blasting. And then for, and I love, so this was influenced as well by, um, by um, Trinity's answer of like the no social media, so you just go yeah. live it. So like you're saying, you know, you get your pictures, maybe there's a, you know, actually maybe there's a photographer yeah. capturing the moment in stealth. Yeah. But like nobody's on their phone like, yeah, look at me in social media, like yeah, this is what I'm doing. It's just like pure living. And you look back at the end at the photos like, oh shit, that happened. But you're yeah. so present in the moment that you, you forget what happened and you have such enjoyment looking at the photos at the end of the trip. Um, yeah, so the music, the villa, the yacht, and then just a lot of yeah exercise too. Like exercise, I feel would be such an an, you know, an enjoyable thing. And then fucking ATVs, uh, wave runners for the crew, music ATVs, wave runners. And then other than that, and then also even though I said the no charitable thing, you know, just rolling up uh, to like restaurants and being like, yo, it's all good. We got we got y'all. Let's let's vibe out in the restaurant, cover the whole restaurant, and we just vibe out. Or if it's a club. I just like everyone feels, I just want everyone to feel free whether like if it's a restaurant or wherever, it's just like yo, the limitations that you've had in your mind before, you're here tonight, the way that you've envisioned it, the way you're going to ball out, yo, tonight's that night, just live it. And um, yeah. that that would probably be like my month in Brazil and then hopping around, different, doing that in different cities. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>
There's levels. Anyway. Brazil, huh? Anyway, yeah. Mr. Passport yeah. Heavy. If you ain't subscribed, check it out. Let's get it. Of course, good food. Good food is a, a given and all that. Alright, vlog update. We just ate and shit's growing great. Still on the boat and we cruised down to Sanur. Now we are in uh, Sanur, Nusadua area. And um, sun is sitting. And um, super update. This shit. Oh shit. Behind the scenes, this is what you don't see. Yep. Yo man, they take they take all this stuff, bro. Tropical humidity. Yeah, you fogging up the lenses. It's all foggy. Yeah, my shit's foggy again. Oh shit! Coming with the oh, video. Shit. Yeah. Wow, dude. So how much? How much? How much, how much did we get these for? So, all right. So if we got four jet skis, he's English, right? Oh, here we go. So four jet skis. Ask him for. So I guess half an hour for for four jet skis. Seriously? How much for everything for for half an hour? Because I know how much he said, 400 for 50 minutes. But we need a deal, we're giving the whole family money. Come on, fam. My boss is 300. 300 for... Uh, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. 2.4 million for all four. Let's go. It's cost friendly out in these parts. Don't be scared. Update, sorted. Jet skis, let's go. Ready to drone this shit? Check it out. How you feel about Deep quote about yeah. life. Lost it. Lost. Lost is right there. <sighs> Vlog update. Just mashed on some jet skis. That was beautiful. And now we got to look at the sunset. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's gorgeous. Right? Right. Anybody want some? Where did you go? GPS. Woo! You good? GPS is here. Blow that. Want to help me? Yeah, let's do it. I just gotta hold it? Yeah. You can. Hold it over the water. Keep it yeah. Oh, he's a pro. He's a pro. Oh man, this one's almost. Jones here. Oh, yep. Getting the shot. Nathan, Nathan's piloting right here. I, I think Jabril's got this one. Jabril's got he's got he's got the ending one. Yo, that's a wrap. That's a wrap for day five. That's a wrap for the trip. Yo, shout out Jabril real quick for doing this trip. Um, epic. Epic. Shout out Arnold because Arnold definitely. Is Arnold here? Arnold. Holy shit, look at this sunset right now. Yo, shout out to Arnold for. Uh, for putting on the trip. Shout out to Jabril, the boy is a legend. Um, Arnold has definitely made the trip um, so much better, so much more fluid, so patient, dealing with so many people, so many different energies. <coughs> and I just definitely want to give him a big shout out. Tatiana definitely helped put yeah. the trip together too. Yay. Thank like, you. I just kind of had an idea. I wanted to bring people together, have fun, and be able to grow and develop friendships that we'll be able to have for like a long time to come. And also bring like a different group of people together because a lot of times people bring the same people group together. They're like, oh, I'm all hippie. Hey, I'm so hip hop. Hey, I'm so white, I'm so black. 
And for me, I have like such beauty in seeing other people come together because then they realize, you know, they're so the same. And so like me, I grew up so different. Like I grew up first nine years in a foster home, white foster parents. Then I go with my African mom. And then I grew up in like the ghetto of Chicago. All these different things. I hang out with Mexicans. And I just realize everybody is the same in so many different ways. And when people get to travel like us, we realize how similar everyone is. And that's all it was. It's not like, I'm not like the deep person. I'm just like, you, when you hang out, talk, have conversations, have a few drinks, you're just like, wow. People are just the same and you just want to make the world a better place and also make more money, have better sex, all that good thing. I wish all those good things upon everyone. Hope everyone has the most amazing year of your lives. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll tag you on it. Say hey Arnold here, just pop up. How do I tag you, Arnold? Yeah, uh, not too fast. That's a wrap. It was all about you. So you just filmed five days. You just filmed your first passport heavy joint. How would you uh, how would you uh, describe it? How, what was that like? And how did it go? Uh, it was hectic. It was hectic. Crazy. It was hectic. It was fun. Um, you know, trying to think of the shots, staying ahead of the thing, anticipating the shots. That, yeah. That's what I had to get used to. Yeah, that is but, a thing. Uh, yeah, I filmed like probably like three to four yeah. hours worth of footage. Yeah. So bringing that down to seven minutes, seven to ten minutes, that's that's gonna be interesting. Now the editing begins. It begins now. Let's get it. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned.